Link goes by many names. Millions of them, actually. I mean, you can name him at the beginning of the game. What the fuck did you think I meant? I mean, like, come on. The Hero of Time dates all the way back to 1986, and was featured in a phenomenal game about a young hero sent to save the princess from evil. The most notable feature about that game was it was actually the first ever console game to use an autosave feature, meaning it was the first game in which you could save your progress, stop playing, and then pick up where you left off in another session. Autosave is a staple in almost every single video game released today, and although PC games like Zork were the first games to ever actually use an autosave feature, Zelda was more noticed for it as the game featured the player controlling the hero directly rather than just typing in words. Zelda is considered by many to be the father of the modern role-playing game, and I say that as somebody who's never played it. Yeah, 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 that's right, I've never played The Legend of Zelda. There's a link to my Facebook on, like, my YouTube channel page if you want to spam me or something. But enough with the formalities. It's time to see what Link can do! Hello, everybody, you found Natunas! Welcome back to Smashing Sundays! Oh, we got special Link on today. Funny thing about Link, he's probably my least favorite character in the entire game. Or at least my least favorite to fight. And we'll explain why in a sec. First of all, we're gonna go with that red Link. That fucking, like, Zelda 2 Link. That's... That's the Link. The best time to play is the Red Link. It's all the time. One with Roy- Okay. This is gonna be bad. Cause I was gonna practice with this character. I wound up kinda not doing that at all. And I'm not very good with Link either. So, you know, this is gonna be- This is gonna be a clobber fest of clobberness. But then again, Link is honestly like- The thing is with Link is that- he really has, like, never been good in any of the Smash games. If there's any Smash game that I would say that Link is probably the best in, it would probably be Smash 64. I remember seeing Isa pull off some pretty sick combos with, like, Link in that game. But that's because it's Smash 64. Like, Smash 64 is just combo central. That's what that game is, you know? It's just, that game is combos, you know what I'm saying? But Link in this game, I hate. Because he's still not good, even though, like, he should be after, like being bad in almost like every Smash game. Yo, my Link is raw! Oh my god, I'm actually doing pretty good! Maybe just this Roy doesn't know how to... Maybe just this Roy doesn't exactly know how to Roy. Maybe that's what's going on here. I, I really don't know. Haha, <laughs> nice try. No, 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 he's got me in the Wombo. Oh, damn it. Roy's a stupid dash attack. Oh, so close, buddy. So close yet so far. Shit! Stupid lag. Did you see that? Did you see that spike? Oh no! And he's gonna- No, he didn't taunt. He didn't taunt. This guy's respectful. I like that. Kinda looked like he taunted, but I think that was just like his idle animation. He just walked right into that. Alright, we're definitely leaving this guy after this match because- Okay. Yeah, this is too laggy for me. Alright, so Link in this game... Honestly, he could be better. He's really not that good. He's still low tier after being low tier for such a long time, dude. Because, like, I don't know. I mean, I actually made a whole video about how much I hate fighting Link. At least on For Glory. Because, like, oh my god. For Glory Links, like, they are just like Wii Fits, man. They just roll to each side of the stage and then start spamming their projectiles. And against a Mario, you know, against a character who really thrives on being up close and personal with the character, that actually counters Mario very well. Like... Playing Link like a bitch, ironically, is like the best way to play as this character because his other options just aren't that good. At least not for like an undedicated main. Like, if you're really, like, not to say like you can't be good with Link, you absolutely can. It's just gonna take like more like a dedicated main, you know? But like, throughout the entire series, like, except for Smash 64, Link really hasn't been that good. And in this game, he's very gimmicky because his uh, side special. Uh, hold on a second. It's taking forever to load, by the way. Like, I'm doing all the talking on, like, the frickin' menus. Like, this- this is stupid. Uh, Purple Link? I'm down with Purple Link. I like Purple Link. Uh, his side special is, like, now a Gale Boomerang. Ever since, uh, Brawl, they actually changed that. And it does do damage if hit directly, but it also, like, is a tornado move. And it, like, it carries your opponent. Sort of like Mario's Flood, in a sense. Like, watch, he's gonna hit this- it's gonna hit that guy, and he's just gonna, like, edge a little bit closer towards me. Link's up tilt is still, like, an overhead, though, which is... Which is... That's still good, at least. He's gonna go for the Nate. Oh, please die. Damn it. 
Damn it, that would have been awesome. Shit. I'm good, bro. I'm good. Still alive. Still alive. That's a meteor smash, not a spike, I believe. So, nothing to worry about. But see, against like a rushdown character like Falcon, Link still gets kind of beat, you know what I'm saying? Oh shit, another bomb. Shit. Ah, oh, Falcon players. Oh yeah, I gotcha, bitch. I gotcha, motherfucker. <laughs> he walked right into it. <laughs> Yo, that was awesome. I don't even care that I died. Yo, that was awesome. Oh my god. So honestly, at least I haven't really seen many high level Link players. The best Links I've seen are like... It's sad, but like the best Links I've seen are like the ones on For Glory. Where like they just roll to the side of the stage and spam the projectiles. And the only reason I say that is just because like... For as a Mario main, there's like no way to counter that besides like having to read everything they do. Because like they roll to each side of the stage, they have their invincibility frames. People just... It's sad. This character is very like disrespected and he's just played like... The majority of how he's played is just by like really scrubby players on like For Glory, dude. There we go. But they did fix his dash attack in this game. It's not really a combo move anymore. What it is now though is that it's a very powerful KO move. It's hard to land though, unfortunately. It's hard to land, though, unfortunately, but when you do, it's oh so satisfying. Ugh. Falcon players, man, the Falcon players. Oh my god. I remember seeing, like, a video that some guy made on his YouTube channel, right? About, like, all the stereotypes before Glory. Like, oh, you have up till Mario. You you have, like, freaking, uh... I don't know. Like, all the players that think they're good, like, Nessus, who only spam PK fire and back throw. But he never said anything about Falcon players that think they're good. Because, let's be real here. People play Falcon more than any other character. In, like, in this entire game, dude. Let's be real. Alright, I never played Majora's Mask, so we're not gonna go with Fierce Deity Link. That's a little... It's a little disrespectful, don't you think? Uh... I'll go with Regular Link. I don't mind going Regular Link. That'll be fun. But I thought I was gonna do Horrible, but, like, honestly, like, this character, you know, he's really not that bad, but... Tourney Viable? No. He's still really not that good. If you're gonna play Link, go play Smash 64, because that's where he's the... That's where he's his best. He's a very, like, not mix-up character. He's a, very, he's a character that relies, like, on his projectiles and whatnot. Things of the like. He's not very good, like, up in your face, like, in the neutral game and things like that. Because his moves are very slow. I mean, he's got a lot of gear on him, I suppose. So, that's how that's gonna work, I suppose. <gasps> Damn it. Ah, oh, shit. My sister's calling me. I gotta kill myself real. Hold, hold on just a sec. So, I have just been informed that my sister is studying downstairs, which is something I kind of forgot about, because I was up here playing Smash Brothers, and uh, I now understand that I was a little bit too loud for her liking, and uh, therefore I'm going to have to talk very softly into my mic for the rest of this video, and so I'm probably going to make this the last match then. That's probably going to be what's going to have to happen. I know it sounds like I'm eating my microphone, or perhaps brushing my teeth with it, but unfortunately, that is my only option here, is to sound like one of those golf commentators. Oh, he footstooled me, dude. Shit. Okay. I'm playing against a Yoshi player who I think knows what he's doing, so this match might be a little hard for me, as I am not a Link main, and I also do not know how to play as this character. As you can see, I like to use the bomb bombs to uh, get close in on my opponent there because I, it, you can use them to uh, set up little shields for yourself in a sense, like to just cover more ground. It's sort of like a, I don't exactly know how to phrase it, a spacing option, I suppose. All right, it appears I've killed the Yoshi off the top of the screen. That's very fine and dandy, isn't it? He's gonna try and footstool me, but it's okay because I'm gonna get a wake up attack on him. So how are you all doing today? I hope you're all doing fine and dandy. This Yoshi needs to stop going low to try and hit me. It's not going to work out for him very much once I up smash him like I did just there. Uh, he walked into me. 
he got the down B there. That's uh, that's very good. Very good for him. As you can see, my uh, link skills are not exactly subpar. Uh, but, you know, I like to consider myself that I'm a little, at least, decent with this character. But the character himself is also very low tier. And therefore, not the best option to play as. So, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed uh, Super Smash Brothers Golf Commentary here with Nintunist. And I appreciate you all tuning in. Like, comment, and subscribe if you did in fact enjoy the video. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.